Well, I, I just want to break in one one brief yeah. moment, William Engdahl, uh, to say that when critics here in the U.S. attack Russia for its quote-unquote repression of dissent, one of the things that Russia is doing is getting rid of these U.S. CIA financed NGOs that are plotting, <laughs> uh, seriously, that are plotting the overthrow of their own, of Russia uh, yeah. uh, under the color of quote unquote democracy, like you say, totalitarian democracy. I like that. Fake democracy works just as well. Yeah. So that. Fake, fake. Yeah, yeah, part of the demonization of Russia is only Russia acting in its own best self-interest. You know, and we accuse Russia of interfering in our elections, but at the same time, before that ever happened, we had teams of weaponized jihadists that we weaponized traveling through the backwoods of Russia, uh, attacking terror, uh, making terrorist attacks right and left. The best, the best on school attack. This was an operation run by General Richard Secord, the CIA, the old boy network around uh, Papa Bush, that they brought them out of Afghanistan, flew them into Azerbaijan, made a coup there, and then uh, brought them up into Chechnya to blow up and sabotage the Soviet-era Russian oil pipeline from Azerbaijan, Baku, in the Caspian Sea, because Dick Cheney's Halliburton had done a geophysical survey and found that Baku was a new Saudi Arabia, that the Caspian Sea was a new Saudi Arabia, and it would be U.S. and British oil companies that controlled that, what used to be a couple of years before the Soviet Union. So this is, uh, you know, part of the reason for that color revolution in Georgia. It, the color revolution in Ukraine is a little bit more sinister because that's striking at the heart of Russian culture, Kiev Rus. And as Brzezinski pointed out in his grand chessboard book in 1997, Russia without Ukraine is simply a Eurasian regional power. Russia with Ukraine is a world power. Now, Vladimir Putin has many flaws. Vladimir Putin is no god. He, uh, let's be honest about this. I, I have deep, deep connections. I'll admit them, and I won't be fired as a cabinet member of Trump for sure, <laughs> because I won't become one. But uh, I have very, very deep, long-standing ties since 1994 with Russian culture, Russian people, uh, and and Russian ideas. But. Russia has a sovereign right to exist as a sovereign nation after the rape of Russia that was carried out in 1990, 91 through the end of the Yeltsin era. Uh, 